good afternoon welcome to our day um so it is tuesday the day before trey goes back to school um it's already been um busy this morning um but yeah i have my reheated cup of coffee mm, still good and we are about to tackle some things that needs to be done um, to prep for Trey's first day of school. And um, I'm gonna be doing some prep right now and then um, we'll take you guys, we'll take you guys about um, our day and into tomorrow. So this is like, a, this will be a day in the life, 24 hour vlog. Um, or you know what? Backtrack that. This will be 48 hours day in the life vlog from today, all day, tomorrow, into Thursday afternoon. So we'll take you guys about our next couple days for the next 48 hours. Caffeine is definitely needed for this week. Um, the kids are having some rest and quiet time. Um, they have a couple of books on their bed and they are just lying down. Um, Trey has still been napping this summer. Um, I Sometimes I'll make him lay down when I know that he's tired, he's grumpy, but for the most part, um, he is the one that asks to go lay down. I think he's growing. But they're just resting. I'm going to try to get um, their week clothes out, and I will show you guys that in just a second. So this is all their, both of their clothes for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday for this week. Um, and I will show you guys the bins that I have them. So these are trays, and these are Noah's drawers for Monday through Saturday. And since they only have school, or since Trey only has school Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, then I'm only filling it up for those days. And for Noah, I'm just gonna fill his up as well, just so that I can just quickly get his outfits out. I don't have to be rummaging through their dressers because um, the morning school mornings um, were hectic last year and I'm knowing they're going to be hectic this year as well. boys's fall shirts I need to put on hangers and hang them up in their room um, after their quiet time um, I have another load of laundry in the dryer and I'm going to fold that um, I won't put away clothes until after their quiet time so that I don't keep walking by their bedroom and disrupting them um, but this gives me time to just get laundry done um, right now, and, oh, Saturday is their first soccer game, so we have to, um, 
Noah and I, Noah and I will have to go get um, some groceries tomorrow. Um, we have game snacks for his team, for Noah's team for Saturday. So tomorrow we will take you shopping after we drop off Trey at school for his first day of first grade. I cannot believe he's already in first grade, guys. It's absolutely insane. And then tonight, um, David will have the camera since I have a coaches, a soccer coach meeting tonight. Um, but he will be here um, later on tonight with the camera. guys just as I am about to sit on I'll get you guys situated so just as I am about to sit on my bed and start folding clothes I noticed a big wet spot Noah peed through his underwear on my bed because they were sitting on my bed with electronics so now I am running 
master bed linens and it's 4 30. good thing that my coach's meeting is not till later because i have stuff i have to get done before i leave for the meeting but i have time to do this so perfect timing noah Okay hey guys, so I did this really cute idea for Trey's kindergarten teacher last year for her the first day of school. And I'm doing the same idea for his first grade teacher for the first day of school. So I bought a little bin like this. I got this one, well I went to the craft store like Joann's and Michael's and they had like flatter ones but I needed a bigger one like this. And um, so I bought an extra one last year because I knew I was going to do it for this year. Um, so I got this one at Walmart. Um, and it's like an index, index card holder that you can stick into your drawers in your office desk. But I thought this was perfect for um, a teacher's survival kit. And I bought um, lots of little things just throughout the summer um, to put into the kit. And I'm going to create like a little design on a piece of uh, paper to stick here and then Trey's going to handwrite a card today he needs to finish that today um but I got um some like emergency packets um like a chapstick um and a couple of other things mints gum some chocolates tea bags things like that that I can put into this little container um, just to help his teacher with surviving her first day or her first week or throughout the whole year so she can survive <laughs> first grade this year but I love this idea and I'm going to continue doing this um, throughout elementary school for him and for Noah as well and I'll show you guys when I'm done making it I just need to have a little mini Milky Way and hide it from the kids. Actually, they know where I am, but they don't know I have this. So worth it. Sometimes moms need to have a little bit of a break, and I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm doing really well with my workout and eating healthy, but every now and then, moms need some chocolate too. Okay, guys, so it is about to be 5.30. David should be coming home. Um, he te just texted me saying he's going to be home a little bit late. Don't know what that means because I have to be at my meeting before 7. Um, coaches are already going to be there, so I need to get ready. I'm still not ready at all. I haven't done my hair. Gorgeous. <laughs> um, I finished up Trey's teacher's first day of school gift. Um, first grade survival kit. He wrote on it. Looks super cute. Um, 
like I said before, I did it for his kindergarten teacher last year. That's what I'm doing for his teacher this year. It's an awesome day idea. I love it. Um, his kindergarten teacher said that she really loved it too. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I have to clean his lunchbox. Um, I cleaned it out the last day of school, but that was a couple months ago. So I'm going to clean it out, get it ready for his lunch. Um, I won't pack his lunch until I come home um, after my meeting, but I just want to get it cleaned out so that all I have to do is just pack it and just set it in the fridge. Um, but this is what we did last year for his lunches. So this is the new one, new bento box that we got him for this year. Um, and I have this one from last year. Um, side is kind of breaking off, but we can use it for this week until it breaks. And this is the silicone um, rubber seal that you put inside this groove here to keep it sealed. Um, but other than this flap breaking, it still works. Um, so I'm gonna wash this out. I'm gonna wash it out. Wipe this down, wipe his lunchbox down, rewrite his name into it, um, and then I will make his lunch later tonight. So another thing that I am going to pack for him um, that we did last year, I'm just going to pack it from just in case, um, is a change of extra clothes um, in a gallon zip bag. Um, trying to find a Sharpie. Blue will be fine. Um, to put the extra clothes in and that will just stay in his backpack. Um, I will change it out at the end of every week um, and put fresh clothes in there. But that way, just in case he has an accident or it's super rainy and he steps in a puddle or something, he will have extra clothes. Um, so I'm gonna pack that right now and put it in his brand new backpack for tomorrow. You excited about first grade tomorrow? We have your teacher gift already. I'll make your lunch tonight when you're in bed. What am I gonna have for lunch? A uh, bagel, cream cheese, a juice. Oh, you wanna pick out your snacks that I pack into it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll pick out your snacks for that. We don't have any more Z bars. That's okay, we can get more of those. So I don't know if I mentioned this, um, probably did, but um, last week we had just the whole school, kindergarten through fifth grade, um, meet and greet where all the kids that wanted to bring their school supplies early and drop them off in their classrooms, they could. Um, we had about maybe a third of the entire school show up. Um, and since I am in charge of um, my son's PTA, um, their school's PTA, um, I'm the president this year, I had to be there and I helped make the teacher luncheon and um, had to stand with the table um, to try to get more people and more parents involved with this um, with PTA and tell them more about it. Um, it was a pretty good turnout. 
um, for, you know, still being the summer. Um, so anyways, as I'm rambling, um, so he doesn't have to bring his school supplies tomorrow, which is awesome. All he will have in his backpack for tomorrow is his extra bag of clothes, um, his teacher's gift, and his lunchbox. Um, I don't think he's going to need a jacket because it's still pretty warm. Um, but I will keep, I always keep an eye out on the weather just in case if he needs like a light hoodie or his rain jacket later on in the month. But I don't think he needs a jacket for tomorrow, so I won't pack him a hoodie. He gets pretty hot anyways. But yeah, his backpack would be pretty light, um, which would be perfect for our big first grader. So Mama K okay, is at a meeting right now and uh, the boys just got a... Uh... Um, they just showered, so they are about to let's go brush your teeth, huh, Noah? Yep. And where's the new first grader? Trey. Trey. Okay, let's go brush that teeth, huh? Uh huh. All right. I don't know what's the brush. You don't know what? <laughs> hey! I need a minty toothpaste. <laughs> some minty toothpaste. Hey, hey, Here's that. I got yellow. Hey, that's too much water. Hey. <laughs> Here, Noah. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. okay, brush your teeth for a little bit and I'll help you brush. I want to brush the teeth myself. Okay. Okay, go. Okay. Let's brush that teeth. <laughs> I need this from Trey. 